Hello. Oh. Hello. Oh. Oh, gross. Oh, I'm, the way I'm sitting, I feel it in my gonads. Oh, I kind of like it. It's the juicy content it's you the, feel. That's yeah. juicy content right there. It's creeping Especially out. in the summer. Juice! Hey, welcome back to our stupid directing. It's some Corbin. You ever had beads of sweat just go right no, down your back? Never. In between your butt crack? No. Right there. Just never. Slide right never on down. Never once in my life. Yeah. Uh, anyway, hi, I'm Rick. Hey, Mick. Today. Hey, Patreon. Hi, Patreon. How you doing? You know who I'm talking to. Uh, 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 uh. Wow. What do you do with Patreon? Oh, we do a lot of fun stuff. Wow. Go check it out on Patreon. <laughs> <laughs> if you're at a certain tier. <laughs> <laughs> if you're at a certain tier, you're shedding tears. <laughs> Stop it, I'm killing me. Uh, today we got, this is a, a you, did you ever know that Amitak Bakshan ran Who Wants to Be a Millionaire for India? Yes, I did know that. Uh, but apparently also at time, at one time, Shah Rukh Khan came on with Amitak Bakshan. That I did not know. Apparently this is a little segment. Just, a, just Wait a minute, a wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. They're not playing. No, but I, all, I, all we're talking about right here is the combination of salami nips and Tasty nuts. Oh, they had a great time afterwards. Wow. Uh, Shah Rukh Khan and Amitak Bakchan. If you don't know what we're referring to, you need to go back a couple years and differences. Compare uh, uh, clarification. Nice comparison by Shah Rukh. This is it says in this video sh um, on KBC. I don't know what that is. I guess that's the name of the thing. Uh, Shah Rukh tells a funny way that how Amitak is superior and Amitak accepts it humbly. So <laughs> he basically, I'm sure, talks nice about how could you his not? hero. Yeah. I, I, we know that. <laughs> I mean, how could but, you not, right? I mean, yeah, globally, SRK is the quote unquote bigger star. At least now. Now. Yeah. But you don't have a star like him without, without Amitabh Bakshan first having been the big star. Especially in Hindi cinema. He, exactly. Um, he paved the way so that he could become abs SRK. King Khan. That rhymed. Uh, here we go. Let's just get into this. आपके साथ जब भी काम करता हूं जब भी मुलाकात होती है यस तो लोगों की एक गलत फहमी होती है कुछ उल्टी सीधी बातें करते हैं और वो गलती से ऐसा कुछ कंपैरिजन करते हैं कि मैं जो है आपकी फिल्मों की कॉपी करता हूं या मैं कभी-कभी बदतमीजी करता हूं जो मेरी बिल्कुल औकात नहीं है मैं कभी नहीं करूंगा सर जी जी मालूम लेकिन मैं वो क्लेरिफाई करना चाहता हूं कि हमारे डिफरेंसेस ऐसे हैं जी कि मैं ही नहीं मुझे लगता नहीं कि दुनिया में कोई भी ऐसा एक्टर या कलाकार है जो आपकी ऊंचाइयों तक आपकी अच्छाइयों तक और आपने जो जो अचीव किया है और जिस किस्म के आप एक्टर इंसान हैं वैसा कोई पहुंच सकता है सर बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद आपका तो तो मैं मैं तीन डिफरेंसेस हैं जो सारे ऑडियंस को आज क्लारिफाई करूं कि इसके बाद जी जब 150 साल बाद भी ये बात हो जब हम केबीसी के 155वें हां बिल्कुल सीजन पर सीजन पर आए तब भी कोई भी ऐसी कोई गलतफहमी की बात ना करें तो इफ यू अलाउ मी आई जस्ट टेल द थ्री मेन डिफरेंसेस प्लीज जो मुझ में है और बाकी में तो और भी ज्यादा Okay. तो पहला डिफरेंस मैं बताना चाहूंगा मैं यहाँ खड़ा हो जाऊं सर हाँ जी खड़े हो जाइए सर यहाँ बोल सकते हैं हाँ मैं यहाँ so, पहला डिफरेंस अमित जी मैं बताना चाहूंगा जो मुझ में और अमित जी में है कि जहां पर मेरी हाइट खत्म होती है <laughs> अमित जी की हाइट वहां से शुरू होती है <laughs> अच्छा, जब मैं वहां खड़ा था सर मुझे कटरीना के साथ भी यही फीलिंग आ रही थी लेकिन दूसरी बात कि अमित जी जब खुद गाते हैं या बोलते हैं उनकी आवाज में बहुत बेस है एकदम बेस है बेस मेरी भी है हाँ जी लेकिन बेस के आगे मेरा थोड़ा यू आर ए लगा है मेरी बेसुरा है <laughs> और या दैट्स ट्रू इफ यू सीन इफ यू सीन जब अमित जी को शायद खुद याद ना हो लेकिन हम लोग सब उनकी फिल्में देख बड़े हुए हैं पले हैं और सीखे हैं तो अमित जी एक हाथ से दुनिया को दीवाना बना देते हैं कि हाँ पूछा भी था मैंने एक बार पूछा भी था अमित जी के पीछे क्या करते हैं वो बताया नहीं आज तक इन्होंने लेकिन ऐसा हम लोग जो है दो हाथ लगा लगा के भी दुनिया को हाथ जोड़कर आपसे गुजारिश करूंगा सर हम तो ये कर करके बचपन से आपको कॉपी कर करके एकदम दीवाने से हो चुके हैं एक बार मेरी भी एक चाह है कि आप भी ऐसे दो हाथ कर दे मैं ट्यून दूंगा सबसे पहले मैं आपको राज बताना चाहता हूँ ये एक हाथ आप पीछे क्या अफसर वो बता दीजिए सबको पीछे नहीं है सर मैं आपको बताता हूँ जी सर बात बाहर बात बाहर ना जाने वाले फोन पे नहीं बताइए सर मेरा जो बाया कंधा है ये टूटा हुआ है ओ और लोग 
سمجھتے ہیں کہ میرا سٹائل ہے کہ میں یوں چلتا ہوں لیکن یہ سٹائل نہیں سر وہ گندا ٹوٹا ہوا ہے اس لیے یہ جھکا ہوا رہتا ہے اس کو سیدھا کرنے کے لیے میں ایسے ایک ہاتھ رکھ لیتا ہوں تو یہ سیدھا ہو جاتا ہے سر ایک بار کر کے دکھا دیں اور ایک وجے دینا چوہان لیکن سر جو سرسوں کی کھیت والی بات ہے جو سرسوں کی کھیت والی بات ہے اس کا تو جواب ہی نہیں ہے Crowd cheer. Cloud cheer. <laughs> okay, Sharon. Katrina, thank you so much. <laughs> that was cute. That was really cute. And also, is that true? First time hearing it. It I could did, be. I did not know. He seemed sincere. Yeah, he did. But Didn't, he's also a great actor, so. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> he uh, could have been in the moment really pulling the wool over our eyes. Hey. Hey, 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 what are you, why is it, there's, we're having technical difficulties today, wow, <laughs> we're gonna watch it again, <laughs> we're gonna watch it again, <laughs> yeah, but that was, that was, that was lovely to watch, you know, and you know they've had like numerous by this chance, it probably was. It's, video oh, came out in twenty twelve, so it very might have been filmed in twenty twelve. Yeah, they've already he he's already probably talked to him about the amount of respect he had for him and uh, how 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 crazy it was for him to probably work with him for the first time. Yeah, just like it is for. I I think I just saw something on Twitter. It was Topsy, and she's in one of SRK's new right. films next new films, year, right? right? And she was talking about, she was like, I was so Star Trek the entire time, but I I, I had to suppress it yeah. because I'd want to work with Shah Rukh Khan again. <laughs> right. I just didn't want to ruin the experience. Yeah. You know, that actually happened to Laurence Olivier working with Betty Davis. Mm. He was so bad that she said, get rid of him. And he's uh, in an interview, he said she was absolutely right for doing it because I was just not ready to work with someone at that level. And it was his first film opposite Betty Davis and he was starstruck and she's a professional. She was also a big diva and basically said, get him out of here. And of course, production said, leave. That's to Sir Lawrence Olivier, one of the greatest film and stage actors of all time who just <laughs> couldn't handle being on screen with Betty, Betty Davis. Davis. Yeah. Betty uh, there's, Davis. there's a few that would be like, I don't, I could probably rattle off 10 names that it would be, I'd really have to do some preparation to get comfortable with the idea of I'm doing, and also depending on the kind of scene I'm doing with them. You know, it'd be one thing if I'm just on set with them because that's happened. Yeah. But if you're having to do one-on-one -on -one work or even do intimate work with somebody that you've yeah. watched your whole life, you, it, have to, you have to work on that. It's hard to tell just based off of thinking about it. Yeah. Because obviously it's you won't different know. on on the day yeah you won't know till you're there your body takes over it's like because it's hard for me to picture who in that in that aspect i would be nervous to act with oh it would be johnny no i wouldn't be nervous to really no you don't think you'd be nervous working with johnny i honestly a lot of times i think i'm a better actor than johnny <laughs> <laughs> so it's not i'm more i'm more low i'm i think johnny's a great actor don't get me wrong there i think he's a fantastic actor he does stuff that little people can do yeah character wise yeah but i think that's just his intuition more than the fact that he's a great thespian right um i love the person johnny more than um uh, than than the, the, the actor the, the, like, yeah yeah, yeah. nervous that makes sense that him. makes sense um, party i mean it'd be intimidating if i was in a film like daniel day lewis obviously of course because it's like i have to bring it yeah you, yeah you, yeah you have you to, have to. right i mean tom i guess would be very similar and it, like i said it, it's hard to say like right now right you could talk a big game and then no. the day of and it, on day of it depends you may wake up one morning feeling really really confident and good in the right way and be fine and then you also could just completely like it was really sweet i may have mentioned this before but austin butler was on uh, jimmy fallon promoting elvis just before it released mm. and in the middle of the interview and it's a good long interview as it should be he says in the midst of answering a question he says can i just stop and point out i'm on jimmy fallon talking about a movie where i play elvis presley <laughs> and he's just the audience started applauding and i thought that was 
fantastic. He just took a moment to, you know, this is surreal, right? I can't believe this is happening. Yeah. And I think that happens to a lot of people. And I, it wouldn't surprise me that even if they've had interaction like this before, I mean, how do you not still, I mean, it doesn't matter how many times I worked with Meryl Streep, I'm still going to be amazed and like, I, and yeah. if anyone dared to compare me to, I'd be like, guys, he, stop. Yeah, and it'd be one thing if like I was acting in another language because that's nerve wracking in and of itself. Yeah. Like if I was in oh a Hindi goodness. film trying to speak Hindi. Oh my goodness. Oh my word, that would be, I'd be so nervous yes. just to get the lines right. Exactly. <laughs> Do justice to the <laughs> phraseology and but say it right. That's different. That's, yeah. that, that's like a whole nother level of, just I'm trying not to mess up words. Yeah. Um, in front of these. Well, and and the added weight of I'm now part of this legend's legacy. And is my contribution going to be the thing that continues its prospects of this being elevated? Or is my project gonna be the one that everybody looks at and goes, that's when the great actor was doing a project that sucked because you were in it with them? Mm -hmm. oh. Yeah. Anyways. Great video. Let us know what other Great videos video. we can react to. Uh, which will be the next Big B and Shower Khan films we should watch. Let us know down below. Josh.